Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Got a fairly good sized stash of ash that I picked up today uh, from my local hardwood dealer, uh, Glacier Hardwoods. Um, and we're gonna mill this into the drawer part. So it's kind of wasteful, but this stuff all has to come down to about a half inch. I might go a little heavier, um, but I think for the most part, it'll be pretty close to half an inch. So I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of, of milling stuff. Um, I know that I need eight 17 by eight, four 17 by six, four 25 by eight, and four 13 by six. So there should be plenty of lumber here. So I'm just gonna kind of grab the best stuff out of here that I can, um, and then we'll start, we'll start getting it milled up. So let me do a rough mill here, uh, just get things cut to size, and I'll show you what we got. Well there in less than a YouTube minute, all the parts are milled up. Um, they're not quite cut to final size yet, they're all a little oversized and I'll fit each one to the carcass individually. Um, and reality is, I don't know what time it is, it's, it's a little bit later at night, so this took me the better part of an afternoon to mill all this lumber. Um, but keep in mind, we started with four quarter stock, so it was a lot of milling. I overfilled my dust collector, that slowed me down a little. Um, but that's okay, we're moving on. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll come out here and hopefully we'll start making some drawers. So while I was drilling up the, the drawer parts, I also milled up the stock for the spacers that go in the side of the case. Um, and we need these to put the glides on. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed. And then hopefully we can move on to glides and drawers. Okay, so I ran out of F-clamps doing the one side. I'll let that cure up for a bit, and I'll switch over and do the other side. And there's the other side all glued up. So I built a little mock-up drawer, and it works great. Really like these, these glides. Um, the, the struggle for me was figuring out exactly where the glides go in the web frames. So I have a piece of scrap here um, and I can see that I was, oh, a little less than an eighth off on setting for the rail or the glide placement. So, um, I just went ahead and took that measurement, and when I put the other glides on, I'll go to that measurement, and that should get everything right out here nice and flush, or at least close enough where we can just clean it up when we actually install drawer fronts. But for now, that's working great. And we'll go ahead and get the rest of these glides on, and then we'll start constructing the drawers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut our side rails to length, which is the length of the glides. So next up, I set the side pieces inside the glides, and I'm just going to pull a measurement from my side to side, which in this case is about 10 and 5 eighths on this chest of drawers. Okay, so next up, I've set my fence to be exactly a half inch, which is what the glides call for and I checked that on a piece of scrap and it looks really good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and slide all the drawer pieces through and get the first groove, then I'll move the fence just ever so slightly until it fits my uh, drawer bottom material. On two of the backs, I went ahead and raised the blade up, and I'm going to cut those off because that'll take that uh, drawer bottom just perfectly. 
and it's already set for that distance, so that's where we're going to cut off. So I've set my fence on the drill press just so I can maintain some consistent holes. Um, and I'm coming up about three quarters from the top or coming down three quarters from the top and I'll come up oh, a little bit more than that from the bottom so I stay out of the groove. And I'm just going to go ahead and pilot drill these holes. Okay, I've set up with a 5 16th bit because the smallest plug cutter I have is 5 16 I'd actually like to do a quarter but I don't have that plug cutter. So we're going to go with 5 16 um, and I've set my depth stop, so all I'm going to do is uh, get these ready for plugs. Okay, so I've just dry clamped one of the drawers. It's good and square. I'm, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to get my, my measurement for the bottom, uh, as well as get a couple of pilot holes put in this so that we can get it held a little bit better. Okay, using the jig a jig get those holes in the back. Using the same jig, just flipped up on its side to locate the holes for the latches. Perfect. Okay, so I know these are a little tough to see, but I think that this is what I have decided on for my drawer fronts. <clears throat> I got a little bit of sapwood in these that'll match up nicely. Um, and this one on the top had the most heavy cathedrals in it. And so to go back to what we did on the little shaker tables is I think I'll pull my stuff, what I need out of here and then oppose those cathedrals so that they look the same as they do on the shaker tables. Just kind of tie the pieces together a little bit and I have, I have plenty of material here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start pulling my stock out of this board for those two upper drawer fronts. So all I did was attach the drawer fronts, locate for the center. Um, they're not perfect yet. They've still got, my gaps aren't real good. Um, and I've got some material I gotta pull off the front. So it just takes a lot of time to individually work these drawers to get them fitting perfectly. So that's what I'm gonna spend the next little while doing is getting these two drawers to fit just the way I want them to fit. Well there they are guys, they work super nice. I'm happy with those glides and, and pretty much how everything's fitting. I've got a couple little things here to, to play with still and just some fine tuning. As well I gotta get them all pulled apart and actually glued up instead of just screwed together. So I'm gonna work on these other four drawers but we're gonna call that a wrap on this video. I'm not gonna do anything different in those four drawers than we did on these two. So. We get after it again, we gotta mount the top. Obviously we have to put hardware on, we have a back that has to go on, and of course we have finish. So until then, take care guys.